Uh, should we discuss the new S3 release? Sure. All right. So we're we're excited to uh, release our Mark 8 Volkswagen Golf R and 8Y Audi S3 EH888.4 uh, 2.0T Dynamic Plus ECU and TCU tuning today. It is currently live on the website, and we're doing an introductory 10% off discount for a limited time only. Um, we are offering um, a stage one uh, currently. We we yep. will release stage two stage at two a future date. Hot on the heels. And um, we currently support uh, 91 octane, 93, and E85 uh, with this tune. Um, and then as far as our TCU, we are offering a stage two TCU. Yep. Stage one will be the same as before, um, you know, available with the with the state with the ecu file uh, stage one will come with it and it's what a lot of people refer to as a patch file which yeah. simply um, raises the the torque limiters in the tcu to allow the ecu to make more power um, through the engine yeah. um, this is the way the factory does it um, this is the right way to do it whenever possible yep. um, uh, the tcu is actually what limits the peak power and torque of the engine not the ecu uh, although the ECU will help the engine produce that power by controlling it as such, as permitted by the TCU. Uh, TCU is very bossy. <laughs> yeah. it, it will nanny the horsepower down quite quite, yeah. quite aggressively. So for, uh, you know, these are our advertised power numbers. Uh, these continue to be controversial. I know a lot of the market out there really puts a lot of weight into these advertised numbers. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, we do the engineering and we push these tunes uh, to produce the most power safely, reliably, uh, with excellent drivability and, um, you know, good overall performance. Um, uh, it's really not that hard to make the most power that, that basically just involves maxing out the turbo and then adjusting fuel and timing, um, you know, at that point. Yeah, and it's going to depend right on what the motor can flow, what the rods can handle. But yeah. that, that top line is going to be the same, essentially. It's 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 pretty easy. If you're doing it right. Um, yeah. yeah. And as such, you know, you see a lot of what seem to be different advertised numbers between the, all the different tuners. But uh, recently, BMP, if you, if you look uh, on his YouTube channel, he's tested all the GTI files that are out there, including... Uh, Unitronic, us, and APR, and at the end of the day, he's basically measuring very similar horsepower and torque levels between all three options. Um, you know, we're not here to say that our tune made the most power, and that's why you should buy it. Um, there, you know, all three tuning companies are are good at calibrating and had no trouble maxing out the the flow uh, of the stock turbo. So, so then, what are you left with? Well, you're left with everything else, which is literally. When you're driving, uh, the majority of what you feel is not peak power. It's it's throttle response, the throttle mapping, the drivability, the the, the economy. Or you know, are you able to match or exceed the the factory fuel economy under light load driving? Um, and then there's the safety factor. <clears throat> uh, one of our uh, we were we just heard about one of our uh, one of our competitors had a, 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 a Gen 4 GTI, you know, motor blow up recently on that tune. Are they pushing it too far? Are they pushing it too hard? You know, that's the, the, the problem you get into. And God forbid, you know, you flash your car and then now you need a $20,000 motor job. Uh, th that's not what we're here to do. We don't want to put, put any of our customers in that position. So with all that said, um, we're, and you can see all this on our website if, if you go to the website and, and pull yep, up the uh, so everything's up. Yeah. Uh, but stage one, we're advertising a peak. Uh, these are crank numbers of uh, 408 horsepower and 374 torque on stage 191. Stage 193 is 427 horsepower and 402 torque. And stage one E85 is 449 horsepower and 400. 18 torque yeah and that's based off of our our stock measurement mm -hmm. as measured you know the car on the same dyno um yep. with a stock output of 316 horsepower and 293 torques basically 
spot on with what uh, what the factory is ready to use up. Yeah, so we did not take the motor out of the car and put on the engine dyno. Um, these are estimated crank numbers. Right. So are everybody else. Everyone else's. We just APR, Unitronic, if IE put. You know, they, these are all estimated crank numbers. And then and then we also publish the wheel horsepower numbers, which everyone except Unitronic does for some reason. I don't know why Unitronic doesn't publish wheel horsepower numbers. Um, and, you know, our numbers are comparable. I think the, really the only other option on the market right now for S3 is Unitronic. And our, our numbers are comparable. And in some cases, we're higher. In some cases, they're a little bit higher. Um, something, you know, we do want to point out, and this is not the first time we've talked about this, is for some reason, Unitronic has inflated the stock dyno number by 20 horsepower. So it pushes all their numbers up. Um, I'd honestly love to hear from Unitronic or IE or APR why uh, you guys continue to inflate your stock numbers. Uh, we, we don't quite understand why that's needed here at 034. We, we don't do that. In one case, with our Mark 8 GTI tune, we calibrated the front wheel drive uh, baseline off the all wheel drive baseline. And so our GTI tune we did rate our stock number 20 horsepower higher, and that's why we did it for that reason. Um, but in every other case, we haven't done it. <clears throat> so what I want uh, customers to understand is, uh, let's say you go to the store and you want to buy one pound of rice. So you go into the rice section, and uh, you see one bag of rice is $10, and it says it's 1.25 pounds. And this is the Unitronic Integrated Engineering APR bag. And then there's the zero through four bag next to it, and it's one pound of rice for ten dollars. And you think, oh well, the one point two five I can get one point two five pounds of rice for ten dollars, so I can get the same amount of you know, the same price. I can get twenty five percent more rice. That just sounds like a great deal. Well, it turns out that the rice in the one point two five pound, uh, the the packaging weighs a quarter of a pound. And on the zero through four side, you know, the packaging's negligible. And you're actually getting a pound of rice. In both cases, you're getting a pound of rice. Um, but you're on one side, the expectation is being set that you're getting 1.25 pounds, but it's actually disingenuous. So when when tuning companies inflate the base number, it automatically pushes all the numbers up. Um, so, so where does it end? Uh, you know, at, at one point we were seeing 10, 15 horsepower. Now everyone seems to be settled on 20. APR uh, recently released their Mark A tune. It's 30 horsepower inflated. They're, I don't know. Yeah, and I'm not sure what's going on there because their their wheel horsepower numbers are what the factory advertises at the crank. Yeah. So I mean, they're they're so their dyno's obviously reading really high. Yeah. And so they have pushed the stock number up 30 horsepower. Yeah. Then you go, but then you look at you know when the independent dyno was done. And all the numbers line up, right? You know, again, back when it yeah. makes the real world on the same car. So. BMP's wheel, uh, you know, horsepower numbers line up with ours, and APRs are inflated. So, so at, at some point, I mean, where where does this end? Where does the inflation wars end? Um, you know, APR is now doing thirty. You know, who's going to do forty? When when do we get to fifty? Pretty soon, you know, are we at a hundred? I mean, this is getting ridiculous. So. Um, I'm sorry if I'm hurting anyone's feelings right now, but we're here to do things uh, honestly and accurately. And uh, maybe maybe this is a call out to some of our competitors. But I would ask what is going on with these inflated numbers. I'm happy to discuss it with you guys. If there's a good reason, I'll be happy to next week come on and clarify why it's being done. I don't understand it, why though. And we, we are tuning uh, calibration experts here at 0342 and we're not sure why it's yeah. being done yeah. other, other than from a marketing standpoint bigger it makes better, things look yeah. bigger and yeah. to be honest you guys are eating it up the customers are eating it up we never hear customers yeah. talking we about constantly this. have to fight this battle it's yeah like, oh, well you know so-and-so tuners shows you know 12 more horsepower 20 more horsepower well it's a bunch of people they, run, you know coming out of the store saying i got 1.25 pounds of rice for for the price of one pound and it's like no you didn't you just got some extra packaging you know that you can't use yeah so you know you can see and that's why we publish wheel and 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 you know our, our crank numbers and you can go back through our history of of calibrations those numbers they don't change much from our from car to car you can figure out the percentages and and you know see that it's 
it's a very reasonable amount of drive drivetrain uh, yeah. loss that we calculate in there. Inevitably, we're going to be compared to Unitronic um, out there. Right the groups. Now, yeah. We know how this is be, this is this goes. So uh, anyone who's comparing our numbers to Unitronics, if you take a look at their site, I, I don't know what's going on, but for example, they will list, um, I think on their stage two. 93 tune they list plus 135 uh no it's stage it's the one plus well the, the one plus the one plus is 140 yeah but i think even a more egregious one is the stage two oh, i didn't i actually didn't look at that the one. stage 93 i'll pull it up if you want um so they say plus 135 horsepower but if you go look on the charts and you look at the stock their stock dyno that they publish and their number at no point do you see plus 135 in there i think the most you see is about 100 so they've not, they've also added these plus figures, which which are, are designed to say this is the peak power you gain from this tune, but nowhere on the chart does it show it. So I you know, I it, stage two. Oh, let me uh, yeah the, go to the one that says plus one thirty five. It's just the one sixty four. Well, that one's one sixty four. Wow. Uh, but I mean, you could just look at the graph. You you know you know they're fifty horsepower line breaks, and and nowhere do you see that that amount of gain. So again, you know we don't mind being compared. Um, we don't mind if you look at all the numbers and you choose someone else's based on them. But just make sure what you're looking at is accurate, and feel free to pick ours apart too. You know, yeah, please do. Yeah, um, and we've yeah. If, if there's an issue, yeah, we will correct. Yeah, I don't. This is the same thirty horsepower delta. They they were yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, and so their 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 claims are wildly off from, from what they publish. It, it doesn't make any sense. So, but I, I think a lot of people are probably reading it and saying, "Oh, plus one thirty five. How many people actually pull up the chart and you know try try to figure out? And the chart's pretty vague. Well, and then again, in this back to this other you know common common dino denominator we've got with with what Autry's been doing, it, it all has been. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It doesn't come out in the real world. I guess. I think what Achi's done has been very good, and, it, and that's why we've been a huge supporter of it. We sent him our tunes whenever, whenever we've had them right off the bat for him to test. Um, and w what he's showing is that all these tunes are about the same peak power, and you know he's dynoing on different days with different uh, temp yeah, and it's humidity. Always to, so uh, there's going to be when you're nitpicking at that level. It's... There's going to be built-in variation. I think with the amount of variation, uh, you know, environmental variation that he's experienced we, we can pretty safely say that all these tunes make about the same peak power so if you know that the, these tunes are all going to give you about the same peak power then as a consumer what are you left with as a decision maker because if your decision maker is i'm going to buy the company that says it's the highest well anyone can say anything they want we could go right now on our website and bump all the numbers up 20 horsepower we didn't you know well we could would you think that you're getting 20 more horsepower or you're just getting a quarter pound of packaging. So anyways, I'm sure there'll be some fallout from this. I'm happy to address it if anyone's concerned. Yeah, it's not like we're not trying to be controversial or, or we're just... This, well, it's controversial. It, it, it ends up being that way. Yeah. This is just, you know, obviously the, the, the world we live in. But when you when you look at the stock numbers, the factory published Volkswagen Audi numbers, um, those make sense as to what we measured off of our dyno. So, I mean, I, we don't have a lot of reason to go pushing them higher than that. Yeah. I mean, we would have to do like a 40 or 35, 40% correction factor on our dyno to, yeah. to what these other, you know, crank numbers are from, from APR. And from I think what's product. controversial is false advertising or claiming, you know, false information to kind of trick customers into making a purchase. What shouldn't be controversial is calling it out and, and asking why it's being done. So I think to Nate's point, what we're doing isn't controversial. The question is, why are our competitors doing this? Um, so, anyways, yeah, I know. and like I said, the, yeah, the, the the GTI example from APR, the thing made according to their dynos, their wheel horsepower dynos made the factory crank numbers at the wheels, which is yeah. I, I don't I don't know when you step back and say like maybe our dynos reading a little high. To be fair to the. Uh, the factory S3, AYS3 stock published horsepower number is 306 horsepower. Yeah, there, there is some, there's a little bit of discrepancy. This, the Volkswagen publishes 315, uh, Audi publishes 306. Well, They're the same well, calibrate. Golf R is 316, S3 is 306. They're the same exact engine with the same exact calibration. Yes, yes. So we, we have just gone with the Golf R. 316 well so that's what lined for, up I mean, it lined for up. anyone that like wants to accuse us of inflating s3 sure um 
for some reason, Audi is derating that power level, and they probably have a good reason. Calibration's identical. Yeah, it's but it's the same, same engine, same, same calibration. Same ECU between them. And, and they, they make the same power between the two cars. They're, they're s- different exhausts and stuff like that, but the exhausts are very free-flowing. So, anyways, all right. Well, let's let that bombshell explode go from there. <laughs>